Well, last year was a difficult year for everyone, so there's no reason to suspect that this will be an easy tax season. Alan Rowell from the Accounting Place is here with some tips to get us through this year's tax season because there's a lot of stuff to deal with. Good morning, Alan. Good to see you. How are you, Bob? Good. Good to see you. Yeah, it's that time of year again. Here we go. Here we the go. Alan Rowell show with the Alan Rowell tax dancers. There we yeah. go. And you know what? You're absolutely right. This is going to be one of the more difficult, more uh, confusing, more complicated years that we've had in a long time. And uh, I think mainly that's going to come down to the fact that we have a so many changes that happened, so many different things that were happening quickly. And then in addition to that, everything is catch up. The government is behind. The, um, you know, when you look at it, the real problem is not going to be the tax return itself. Actually, all the serve that type of thing, are relatively easy to handle as far as the tax return goes. Where the difficulty is going to be, Bob, is on the um, getting the information in the first place. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of stuff with regards to the CERB and the, the student benefit and the CRB and, you know, office, okay. all kinds well, of things. Well, walk us through it, starting with the CERB and reporting on that. Okay, so the so the CERB is going to be coming in two different ways. So depending on whether you applied for CERB through the uh, the EI system or whether it was through the CRA system, it's going to come two different ways. Through the EI system, you're going to get it on a T4E slip. It's going to show the gross amounts that you got goes on your tax return. If you apply through CRA, what's going to happen is you're going to get what's called a T4A slip, and it's again going to be reported on your income, and it's going to be there. Where the real problem comes down to is if you're one of those 414,000 people that they got a letter saying that you should repay some of your CR or some of your CERB benefits, CRA does not have anything in place at this moment in order to track those repayments. So that's going to be up to the taxpayer. And that's why I say it's going to be difficult collecting up the right information that we're going to need. Wow. Okay. So with CERB, I mean, there was no tax taken off there, but um, with some other benefits, there, there was a withholding tax, wasn't there? Um, there was a withholding tax on the Canada Relief Benefit, and that's mm -hmm. the one that came in relatively late. The Canada Relief Benefit is handled a little differently. It wasn't rushed in quite as fast as CERB was last March. And so, yes, taxes with being withheld on it. It's also income tested. So if you're if you're what they're calling an adjusted net income exceeds thirty eight thousand dollars, then some of that CRB or Canada Relief Benefit that people have been receiving is going to start to get clawed back and it's going to be end up being repaid. The difference between the tax withholdings is that what happens is all your income gets added together and then taxed with no withholdings. That means that you're going to have whatever your marginal tax rate is or whatever your tax rate would be will be due on April the 30th to CRA as straight tax. Right. Before we uh, run out of time, we got to get to another biggie, too. So many of us working from home now, uh, there is that uh, deduction. The, uh, there's the $400 uh, tax uh, credit. Uh, but uh, what about other provisions above and beyond that? And how easy is that, is that credit? To, what do we have to do in terms of well, that? You know, that's the beauty of that one is you don't really have to do anything. Mm -hmm. uh, office in the home has been around a long time. Okay, and people have always claimed it. And if you've claimed it in past years, you're just going to continue along exactly the way it was. For people that were required to work from home due to COVID related closures, um, you know, precautions, that type of thing, the allowance is $2 a day that you work from home up to a maximum of 200 days for the year. So that comes to 400 bucks. The kicker to it is that you have to have four weeks working from home before you can start to make the claim, but then the claim goes retroactive all the way back to day one. So $2 a day, no receipts, no forms, no nothing, straight deduction. Uh, CRA is liable to ask for them somewhere down the road um, for your calendar, for example. But uh, for the most part, it sounds like it's going to be a straight deduction. Okay, thanks, Alan. People have a lot of questions, and you've got a lot of answers, so we'll link up the accounting place at chch.com, and we'll be seeing you again as we roll through tax season. Thanks, Alan. Have a great day. You too.